actress and mommy Kristen Bell recently appeared on the Today Show and kept it 100 when it came to her parenting with husband Dak Shepard. Kristen admitted that her and Dak sometimes lie to their daughters, five-year-old Lincoln and three-year-old Delta, about their birthdays. The Good Play star said, quote, if it's a Wednesday and we can't celebrate and we're both working then, or we're both working late, then guess what? Your birthday is on a Saturday. <laughs> so they don't know. <laughs> and that's not all. Kristen also admitted that sometimes they lie to their kids about what time of day it is because they can't tell time either. <laughs> She's hilarious. hilarious. I really, really like her. Yeah. She's awesome. She's a friend of our show. Yeah, when yeah. she came here, she was so much fun. Yes. Um, oh, Hey, I, I am not the one to tell a mom what to do with their family. You gotta do what's right for you. Yeah, yeah. Right? Right, right, right. You do. Um, but there were a lot of moms online giving, you know, her crap, her crap about it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just know for, for me, I would just, I think it's, it's an unnecessary lie. Yeah. But I can be a little extra with my, yeah, I can be a little bit extra with my kids. I would just play it up. I would be like, oh my. Gosh, guess what? You, you get what? to have two celebrations for your birthday. Yeah. One day, you get to have your birthday party where all your friends and your family can come, and then on the actual day of your birthday, we can go out to eat, and you can get extra dessert, and yeah. then you can also Something save, simple. like save just a birthday gift from the birthday party and open it up on their actual birthday. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. Right? yeah. For different strokes for yeah. different folks. <laughs> My sister does a similar thing, because okay. not every single day are you actually going to be able to plan a whole thing. No, and you yeah. can't have parties in the middle of the week. Most kids go to school and that whole thing. But um, I do agree with you. It just, see, I'm not a parent yet, uh -huh. so we'll discuss this years from now. And I might <laughs> completely disagree with what I'm saying today. <laughs> But I would try my hardest mm -hmm. to never lie to my kids. I know. And I'm going to tell you why. And I think my mom did a really good job at this, where, like, even when there were really hard things she had to explain to us, yeah. she just chose not to lie. Like, okay. you know, like, I think there's a way to say, look, I'm not going to be there tonight for your birthday, so here's a corn muffin in the morning with the <laughs> candle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going to put a candle in your cereal. We'll figure it out. But, but I think... The, it's lying, it, I think it sets a bad example. This is where I'm really, really glad then that I'm not a parent, cause yo, I lie to myself just so I have the best birthday day ever. See, I'm like, I'm working on Monday, my birthday always falls after New Year's, everybody's tired or hungover, so yeah. I'm like, hey everybody, I got some great news for y'all. My birthday is next, next Saturday, so y'all gonna be sober by then and we're gonna start over. I like, I, I have to push it because I want, the birthday date to me isn't important. The fact that you called me to wish me a happy birthday. Right. You decided to take me out two weeks from now. You decided to make sure you called me and had a phone date with me. My birthday depends on how I celebrate it with who I love. Yes. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I totally you, agree. Y'all leaving lying to the kids? No, I, I, I think he is. Who cares? Yeah, sure. <laughs> but Auntie I, don't you think Jeannie, it man. sets a bad precedent? No, that, like, they, a lie they don't a lie know about that. Lie, they don't it's know. It's a white that. lie. I, I just, I'm not a parent. I just think that different parents have different rules. All right. All well, right. speaking of lying, a woman recently wrote into the site Mumsnet <laughs> asking for advice about her shady mother-in-law. The woman is claiming that her mother-in-law who she calls Satan. Oh, jeez. Stole a pair of her $400 rain boots. The woman claims she had been looking at... Like, the hell no. Somebody... Get it, hell, Satan? But um, but. Okay. She had been looking everywhere for her boots, which were extra special to her because they actually were a gift from her own mother. Well, the boots eventually were oh, found man. by her husband when he showed up at his mom's house and saw them there. Ooh. The wife thinks her mother-in-law stole the boots from her house while she was out of town, and now she's torn about whether or not to confront her. What? I'm so confused by why she's even questioning whether or not she confront her. Those are my boots and you's a thief. Yeah. You're gonna give me my boots yes, back. Yes, you're right, but Adrian, <laughs> this is not a job for her to confront. It's your a, oh, man needs yeah. to confront yeah, yeah, your yeah. mom. Facts. What? I agree, actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That that You'll be opening up my eyes, Jeannie. That's right? a great point. That's in the well, was, and when you read the article, it actually said that the, the son, or was it the son that approached um, his mom and she said, no, yeah. she, she, she didn't. Yeah, she, she didn't she, steal she them. So what do you story. do? What do you do then? That, see, yeah. that's why you can't lie, Tamara. Because I would tell her, <laughs> use a lie. 
use a li you are a liar. It, doesn't it sound like there's more issues? Like yeah. why would a oh, mother-in-law yes. yes. steal their daughter-in-law's shoes and you know you're gonna get caught because yes. you're gonna be wearing them? Yes. And yes. why she's gonna the, see them? And why didn't the son, i.e. her husband, say something to her in the moment when he walked over and said, yo, ma, what's why my wife's shoes doing here? Yeah. yeah, why do you have on my wife's boots? Yes. I, another question. Yeah. What, what kind of rain boots cost like $400? <laughs> Oh, there are. There the are wellies. expensive ones. It's, What's it's that? Over, it's the wellies. They Hunters, don't wellies. Too. Hunters, Hunters are expensive. Hunters are yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a so. lot of money. And see, if you start, you don't, you need to stop it now because now she's taking boots, then it'll be, you know, yeah. purses, jewelry. Jewelry. And then all it's that gonna kind be your stuff. husband, i.e., her son. She's gonna steal uh, them. Crazy moms, crazy Rick moms get in between marriages, man. That I'm is just true. Saying. Yeah, that's happened. Yeah, that's I just true. feel like if they have issues and I didn't like you, I don't wanna put my foot where your sweaty foot was anyway. So that's so weird. Like, yeah. why would you, if I don't like you, why am I gonna steal of all things your shoes? What's gonna be next? Your bunties? Like, <laughs> that's like intimate. Like, I don't wanna. That's just weird. Well, you know it's something wrong because she's calling her yes. Satan. Okay? You yeah, know, they, that's, they that's don't have her. a great relationship. Yeah, it's that's not telling. Not good at all. Speaking of footwear, Drika Gates, wife of rapper Kevin Gates, recently posted a picture to her 2.1 million followers that rubbed some people the wrong way. It was a picture of Drika giving Kevin a foot massage with the hashtag, I got you. Oh. While many of Drika's followers praised her devotion to her man, others said that she's better than them because no way would they rub their man's smelly feet like that. Ladies. Why your man got sweaty feet, smelly feet? No? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Round of applause if you don't mind rubbing your man's feet. Yeah. Round of applause. Okay. I like it. Okay. I like Round of applause, it. Round of applause if you do mind rubbing. Ru yeah, four people. And round of applause if you think feet are nasty and you're okay with rubbing other things. <laughs> well, Jeannie, you start from the... <laughs> you know when you give your man a massage? Yes. No, I you have, have to do all of it. Oh. No, I If just... their feet are clean? Yeah, but... I don't mind straight it. Straight out the shower? Kind of I don't mind if they dirty. dirty. But well, I feel like you... if you funky, you funky. But I don't have a funky husband, that's so real I don't love. mind. That's, well, that's and I love, love. I've talked about this before. Yeah. I love my husband's funk. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I like it. That it's yeah. actually scientifically yeah. proven. It's, yeah. it's the that, pheromones. Correct. It, it, yes. We are, it's an animalistic attraction. It's, yes. I, it's, not, it's actually <laughs> not the man. It's not him. It's not the funk. It's, it's just feet. feet. So let me get this right. straight, Jeannie. You don't suck toes? No, no girl. <laughs> Wait. No. No, no. Wait. Uh, nope. Adrian no, no, no. Houghton. Missing out on a good time. Adrian Houghton. Adrian Houghton. You mean to tell me none of you guys have ever sucked toes? <laughs> you no. never got okay. your toes hold sucked? On, hold on, round, hold on. Round no. of applause if you suck toes. Round of applause. That's right. You be proud. You be proud. Cue the music for Destiny's Child's cater to you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is your man, it's never mind. It's people that uh, suck how, yeah, how yeah, many of you, right. how, but watch this. How many of you have ever gotten your toes sucked? No. The hypocrisy. <laughs> the hypocrisy, oh, so you like that, but you're not willing to do it for somebody no. else? No. <laughs> wait, I have, not to marry wait, you. I've no. got to try this. No. I have not no, had my toes sucked. You don't need to try to suck on some oxtails, not toes. Wanna, We're good. No, no, no. Good. no I no, want to. No. Hold on, one person. Suck. One person at a time. No, no, no. I don't want to suck Adam's toes. No, 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 no. I'm Why? fine with just feeling it. No, but what is the? What do you get when somebody? Okay, it is does very. That to your toes? It is more of an erotic thing, like Kama Sutra esque. It, it is? is very erotic. Yes. They like, yes, yes, that it feels awesome, but they don't want to do it. So I, I have enjoyed it. I, Therefore, I, I would gladly reciprocate that, heard, that erotic feeling. I have heard, you know, uh, that you can kind of, you know, uh, when somebody's uh, messing with your feet. So you I can, can only imagine. Climax, you mean? Yeah, you can climax when somebody's messing with your feet. There so I can only imagine endings. when they're doing other things too. My toes are curled up underneath my boots right now. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. You guys, it is a real thing. Lonnie, why are you being so quiet? <laughs> what, what is in that tea? I, I'm just sitting here sipping my tea. I'm... <laughs> Lonnie, would you suck toes? 
You know what I do? No, do. seriously, I do give if whoever I'm dating, <laughs> and if we become intimate, I give them a mani pedi because I don't want them scratching me in the night. <laughs> That's dope. Oh, no. that's that is that that's is sexy. You put the clear coat on it and everything. No, I don't put no no. Oh, okay. I don't have oh, men that oh, wear. Oh, oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. She okay. gonna take a buff and leave it alone. Got, got you. Okay. okay. Now oh you know what? The great, interesting conversation. Later. I love our show. <laughs> okay. Keep it real. We just want to give a quick shout out to, to a real hardworking woman. Her name is Callie. Um, Terrell, Callie oh. Terrell. She is 99 years young. Recently, she announced that she plans on retiring from her job as a beautician. When she turns 100, Callie, who's from Memphis, Tennessee, has been doing her hair for the late for the last 73 years. She's been doing hair for 73 wow. years. She holds the record for being the oldest licensed cosmetologist in the state. Congratulations, Callie, and enjoy your retirement. That is so that is beautiful. Did yeah. you see her hair? Look at how it's walking. beautiful. So I would beautiful. let her do my hair because she's still styling and profiling right I'm going to tell right y'all something. She Senior is. citizens that stay active yes. stay True. together. My yeah. mom is 76 years old. Yeah. That's her. Uh, oh, my God. Just I to love see so her. much like you. And, you know, sometimes I can't even find my mama. I call her. I'm like, where are you? <laughs> I've been bingo. I'm like, <laughs> we're doing this. So make sure when you stay have active. senior citizens, make sure that they stay active. Give yeah. them activities. So it's a great thing. Like something said, yeah. to get up every day and work towards. Like, obviously, she's been working nonstop. She's not even wearing glasses. Nothing. That's no. what I'm she's looking at. doing and, her craft. And you know, she probably then went through the whole phases of hair, like press yeah. and curl, then lie, no yeah. lie, relaxer. Yeah. You know, so she knows she it, all. it all. That's yeah. so cool. I have a, I have, I'm very blessed to have a handyman that works around my neighborhood. He is 83 years old. Oh. Tom, oh. Tom. And he, and I ask him, I'm like, Tom, sometimes I feel wet, bad asking you to do things. He actually is a carpenter, and then he retired, but but he felt that he was wasting his mind yeah. and his health because he had nothing to do. So he went back into the business and now as a handyman is so happy just being called upon. It keeps them alive.